Welcome to the Delegate Body Training of the Kentucky Association of Realtors. Now that you are a member of the Delegate Body, KAR wants to make you aware of your roles, responsibilities, and duties that come with being a delegate. All new delegates must view this webinar at least once during the time which he or she serves as a delegate. At the conclusion of this webinar, you will find a confirmation statement that you have watched the webinar along with a code that you will email to KAR. Once you view the webinar, you will have satisfied the one-time training requirement for KAR delegates. As outlined in KAR's Policies and Procedures Manual, delegates of the Kentucky Association of Realtors hold positions of honor and prestige. Delegates are the most direct link to the members and arguably have the greatest responsibility for interacting with such members. The delegate body has the power to affect the most crucial aspects of KAR leadership and direction. However, <clears throat> with such power comes great responsibility. That responsibility is to exercise power judiciously and avoid the temptation to substitute the delegate's own judgment for that of the officers or directors they elected to lead KAR or the members who appointed or elected them. Members expect and are entitled to participation by the delegates, by their delegates, that encourage progress without hindering the process of management. Delegates must exhibit qualities of leadership and personal commitment to KAR and to each member they represent. At this point, you may be wondering how you became a delegate. To become a delegate of KAR, you are either appointed by your local association for a term of three years, or you are elected by KAR members to serve as a delegate at large for a term of three years. The number of delegates to be appointed by local associations is determined by the following formula. First, KAR considers number of primary members, both Realtor and Realtor Emeritus, as of October 31st of each year. Then that number of primary members is divided by 250. That number is rounded up to the next whole number. At that point, KAR communicates this number to local associations who appoint their delegates. Each association must submit the names of their appointed delegates to KAR in writing. Local delegates are appointed to a three-year term. Delegates should confirm with their local association that their name has been submitted in writing to KAR to ensure that you will appear on the delegate body roster and be allowed to cast your vote in the annual election for leadership positions. This is especially important when you are replacing a delegate who does not complete his or her three-year term. Changes of any delegates to KAR must be submitted in writing prior to the delegate having voting privileges. In addition to the delegates appointed by your local association, three at-large delegates are elected by KAR members during KAR convention to serve for a term of three years. There are a total of nine at-large delegates serving on the delegate body at all times. The delegate body also includes KAR officers and directors, past presidents of KAR, NAR directors, NAR Distinguished Service Award recipients, and the KAR Executive Vice President, who serves as a non-voting member. The total number of delegates typically averages around 100 each year. Now that you know how you became a delegate, what does a delegate do? As a delegate, you vote to elect KAR officers, at-large directors, NAR directors, and NAR's regional vice president every four years. 
To have a thorough knowledge of the issues, delegates are required to attend the meetings of the Board of Directors. Typically, the delegates meet immediately following Board of Directors to review decisions made by the Board and can reverse decisions made by the Board. The exception is during the KAR convention, when delegates may meet on a different day than the Board. Make sure you check the KAR convention schedule prior to making your travel plans. It's not easy to juggle family, to work, and volunteer commitments, and there may be a time when you're unable to attend the delegate body meeting. To request an excused absence, submit the request in writing to chatfield at kar.com at the KAR office prior to the meeting, stating the reason for the request. Acceptable reasons for an excused absence include the following. Illness, being out of town on association business matters, and a death in one's family. If the absence is an emergency and occurs too close to the meeting to submit the written request, a member of the delegate body or a member of your local association may submit the request in writing on your behalf. KAR's elected officers review all requests for excused absences and make a recommendation to excuse or not to excuse. A delegate that has had two consecutive unexcused absences may be removed from office by a majority vote of the delegate body. Any delegate removed is immediately notified in writing of the removal. Your time is valuable, so let's quickly cover a few more things delegates need to know. Delegates should be familiar with KAR's governing documents, which include the KAR Policy and Procedures Manual and the KAR Bylaws. The current documents can be found at kar.com. Click on Members, then on Governing Documents. Delegates should communicate with the realtor members that they represent on a regular basis, either by email or during membership meetings. The KAR e-newsletter is sent out two times per month and is a good source of information on KAR's happenings. All delegates are encouraged to attend KAR business meetings and to serve on KAR committees. KAR business meetings are held in February, June, and September of each year. To serve on a committee, be sure to complete a committee volunteer form each fall. The incoming KAR president makes appointments to KAR's committees. Every candidate or appointee who serves on a, as an officer, director, or delegate of KAR has agreed to accept the responsibility of leadership. Realtor members in each of these positions are expected to be a person of high integrity and character, not only in their conduct at KAR, but in their business and personal lives as well. KAR bylaws prohibit members from acting in a manner contrary to the best interest of KAR or its mission as stated in KAR's bylaws, Article 4, Section 7. KAR has the ultimate right to require that its members refrain from conduct injurious to KAR or its purposes. Any officer, director, delegate, committee member, or task force member that has engaged in conduct tending to injure the good name of KAR, disturb its well-being, or hamper in its work may be removed from the office by a vote of two-thirds or more of the Board of Directors. Congratulations and welcome to the KAR Delegate Body. Please email the statement found on the screen to kar at kar.com. This will confirm your completion of the webinar. Please also include the code found at the bottom of your screen in your message. If your email does not include the code, you will be asked to provide it. 
Thank you again for your commitment to the real estate industry and for your service to your fellow realtor members. Your participation is important, and you play an important role in shaping the future of real estate in Kentucky. If you have any questions about the content of this webinar, please contact KAR at 800-264-2185 or email at kar.com. At